Okay, this video here is to address uh, two main things. Um, one of the most common things with the controller not working properly. Uh, we get several requests that we get an HH code. Uh, the temperature is not correct on the controller. Um, mostly dealing with temperature related. Coming on too soon or off. So um, primarily this is due to either one of thermocouple failure, which is extremely rare. Um, I don't know, in six years, I could probably count on one hand how many thermocouples we've had to actually go bad. And the second is uh, sometimes um, well, the customer may be going through the settings or, or maybe even going into the programming mode, which we do not recommend doing. Um, they accidentally choose uh, the wrong thermocouple. Uh, and or when they replace the thermocouple, um, they think they need to go in and tell it which type it is. So we've already done all that when we ship our controllers out. We pre-tune them, uh, we put them in Fahrenheit, and we also uh, choose the correct thermocouple type. So I just want to go over really quick how that's done. So first, um, you want to disconnect the element from the solid state relay. And that can easily be done by opening the box up. And there's going to be uh, some, some various connections here. And uh, the, the easiest way to do it is just going to be to unhook. If it's a, a 110 volt, just undo the wire nut. And these two wires, the black and the white wire, go to the element. If you unhook one of those, that will disconnect power from it. Um, if it's a 220 volt, uh, you would want to unhook the two wires that have come from, or, or, or 110, either way, you can hook, unhook both wires, just pay close attention to where they're going. The black wire here comes around and then comes off of this number two position right here, and then this white rod here. So first, when you do anything, take a picture of it, make sure you know exactly where the wires go, unhook them, and now it's safe to turn the controller on. Otherwise, if you turn the controller on, with the element not submerged in liquid, it will pop the element. Um, so anyway, that's what you want to do to make sure that you salvage the element. So we'll go ahead and close this back right here now. And I'm going to plug it in. I have the element submerged into a five gallon bucket with a little piece of wood with a hole drilled in it. It's one of our little test, test uh, stations. So I'm going to go ahead and energize the controller. It's going to go through this little process here. Okay, and right now it's uh, set at 185. This is the set point. This is the perceived value, which is the temperature of the liquid in the the uh, you know in the still. Uh, for this, you know, most of the time, must be for the, in the still. So it's set to come on at 185. Uh, I mean, sorry, it's set to come on and reach 185 before it turns off. So right now we got an output light that's saying green, which lets us know that in fact it is the PID is working. It's telling the relay inside to turn on. And so again, this is this is something you do not want to do with the power on, but I'm going to show you this for demonstration purposes because we kind of know what we're doing here. And as you can see, there's a little red light on the solid state relay that lets us know that it does in fact get the signal from the PID that turns the relay on that now energizes that relay portion going to the element. If for some reason the LED light on the PID was on and this was not on, this little red dot here, that lets you know that either this has, well pretty much this has failed and that's due to either this failing, which sometimes happen, they're man-made, or the element failing. And the element can be failed. It can fail by turning this on when the element is not submerged in liquid. Um, it could be a bad element from the factory. So just, you know, kind of rare, but those things do happen. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and close this now. And so to go into the menu to change the thermocouple type, we're gonna hold the set and this little left arrow down a couple seconds and that goes into password mode. The password is going to be two, and then hit set. Okay. Now the very first setting, input. That's what we want. PT are the thermocouple types we use, and you can transfer through here and go through various ones. 
and you know, they just they just keep on going all these little these are just different settings here different types so let's just say we picked the wrong one L here okay we go ahead and set that and then you hold set down for three seconds to escape from the menu and then here we go we're already showing um, well, this particular thermocouple setting didn't show what I wanted it to show, a complete failure. It will indeed uh, fault here toward the end, but I guess I picked the wrong one for an example. But anyway, when you go in here, hold these down, up, up, number two is the password, hit set. Okay, so now we want to change, we want to go and change this to PT. So we just keep on cycling through here, Y, H. I think I've reached the end of that. So we'll go back here and just pick. Just want to show you this right here. Let's just choose this one here and see what this does here. Now we've set that. And then hold the button down again three seconds to get out of the menu. And of course, this is going to, well, it's actually showing a little bit higher perceived value. So they're pretty intricate. But the main point of this matter is, is you want to go both down, hit to, set. Now we want to keep going until we see PT, right there. That's what we do, PT100, this is short for PT100 PT. Once you get it on that, you hit the set button to lock it in, and then hold the set button down to escape. And you just saw that little HH code there for a second. That's the code you'll see when the wrong thermal thermocouple is picked or uh, the thermocouple is bad or uh, another uh, common problem well, not common but it does happen when this is open and closed uh, you'll see the connections here from the thermocouple the Brady line there's three three wires here uh, thermocouples work by using uh, dissimilar metals so two of these wires are of the same type metal and the other one is dip a different metal and if you look over here on the wiring diagram on the side you'll see there's two B, B, and A on the input. That just means A is the odd man out. B, B is the same. So we got red, red, which is B, B, and A, A, which is blue. It's simply saying this is the odd color that goes in this position followed by the two similar colors. All right. Um, if for some reason opening and closing it has now broken one of these lines, just take these out after turning the box off you can cut those wires, sheath them back to fresh, good metal, insert them back under the screws, tighten it down securely, and then that also fixes a problem if there was a wire broken. Um, that usually happens, I would say, either the wrong thermocouple was picked or the wire was broken from opening and shutting the box uh, for whatever reason. So anyway, now we're back to the correct perceived value. The set point is right here, and just so you know, if you want to do set point changes, okay, you can just simply go, you know, one at a time, and then just leave it alone, and it will it will set. Or let's say you want to go, you know, we, I don't know, you want to go up to, or let's say we were at 110 for whatever reason, or you want to make major changes besides just one at a time, okay, you can hit the left arrow and change the position and of the, the um, temperature value and then you can make 10, 10 degree increments sorry this is pretty hard to see right here there we go Six, 165 one, you know, 145 so that's 10 degree increments or which you wouldn't really never need to do but you can go to the third third value and then you know that's 245 degrees which is too much but just showing you that you don't have to go one digit at a time so we'll go back to that change that back down to 100 and then we'll go back here to the middle position and we'll just say we're going to go to 175 and then just hit set it's fine lock it in and that's it you can see our perceived value is increasing because down in this bucket i have the element in the water and it's increasing so just a quick example of uh, how to replace the thermal couple. Uh, you would just unhook those three wires, the red, red, and blue, take that out of the box, insert a new thermal couple wire in there, follow the same path we did, 
and just loosen those screw terminals, insert the, you know, the correct ones in there, tighten it back down, and you're good to go. So I hope this helps everyone uh, experience any kind of problems with the temperature. Uh, temperature problems related with the PID, uh, it can cause a host of other issues. Sometimes uh, I'm, I'm just not uh, addressing them right now, but anyway, for the most part, that's it. Thank you and uh, appreciate you having one of our Vengeance Stills controllers.